Well, for more on what is likely to happen overseas and after this downgrade, we're joined from London by Ian Hartnett. He's the European strategist for Absolute Strategy Research. Before his current position, Hartnett's equity research team at UBS was voted uh, best by institutional investor for several years running. Ian, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and I want to pick up from where uh, Eric, Mike, and Sarah were talking about, which is essentially what do investors do now? What is going to happen after this downgrade? Well, I think the downgrade is just one factor in a very broad issue, which I think your, your commentators have already hit on. This is becoming a synchronized global growth slowdown. So I think that's the big thing that's changed in the last month. It isn't just about Europe. It's not just about the U.S. It's actually about the fact that China, Brazil, uh, Russia, all of those have got PMIs now below 50, talking about decelerating global growth. So it's a much bigger issue for equity investors at this point. Uh, it is a much bigger issue, and you had the G7 uh, ministers. I mean, they came out with a statement last night. You have Trichet saying that he's going to be supporting the markets, buying Spanish and Italian bonds. Is there much, though, uh, that, uh, that governments can do against the markets? Well, I think there is something that they can do, but what it highlights is that if you're fiscally constrained in Europe, if you're fiscally constrained uh, in the United States now following last week's actions, then we're very much dependent back on that monetary policy. And we've seen the Asian markets and the emerging markets tightening monetary policy, exchange rates appreciating. We're now very much dependent on the ECB coming back into being more expansionary, which is something they've held off for, for the last six months. But then we're back to relying on Ben Bernanke coming through with some kind of unconventional measures to try and provide some global support. At some stage, somebody has got to stand up to the plate and say, austerity may be right for one country, but it's not right for 10 countries. We are going to try and help lead this global economy back into a growth environment. So maybe that needs G20, maybe it needs G7 really to start being more proactive and saying that austerity can wait. We want to get growth going again. I was going to say, who's going to do that at this point? Uh, Ian, uh, just quickly, you know, a lot of people are talking now, you know, now that the U.S. has faced this downgrade, what's the pressure on European AAAs? Well, I think the AAA pressure in Europe comes very much back to France. And the key question there, do any of these invest, uh, uh, ratings agencies want to do business with the French government again? Because if they start to downgrade the French from AAA, then they're very, um, very much going to be at pressure. Our sense is that, you know, we will not see a focus on that S&P uh, single downgrade. If we start to see the second agency go, then that will become more of an issue. But actually, I think what we've learned from this is that governments want to move away from being dependent on independent agencies like this, and perhaps that ratings will be something that will be socialized. The key point, however, is that equity markets are now down to valuations that are very, very attractive. Your colleagues have talked about Monday mornings in the past. Well, yep. each time you've had those money mornings, they've come in to be ending up to be buy signals, not sell signals. A, a buy opportunity, perhaps, although futures are not indicating that right now. Ian, thank you very not much. Today, really... not, not at the opening. No, you can hold nope. off for the, for the first few, few hours and perhaps even for the next few days. But from a strategic point of view, this is an environment where you've got the S&P with a multiple down at uh, below 12. You're still talking about 12% EPS growth for next year. Those numbers are going to come down. But these markets on both sides of the Atlantic are discounting not only a recession, but actually right. a very aggressive recession. Okay. Ian, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. I really appreciate it. Ian Hartnett, the managing thank director you. of Absolute Strategy Research.